And we're back. This is Al Red Sox fan coming to you from Al Red Sox fan YouTube stations. I'm not alone. I'm here with the play-by-play -play announcer, computer guy, and the fifth inning will be brought to you by Broke Black Man 94. He does wonderful reviews of movies and TV shows. Check out the link below. And here we go to the fifth inning. Mickey Mantle will lead off. The Yankees are leading seven to two. Frank Sullivan is still on the mound. Mantle is 0 for 2 today. Let's see if we can keep the goose egg on the mick. Mickey Mantle is up to bat. He's been up two times and hitless. Sullivan goes into the windup. Fires. Strike call dash a fastball. So Sullivan jumps out in front of Mantle. Al Worthington was warming up in the pen, but he's sat back down right now. The 0-1 to one pitch. That's a ball. Count goes even to the Mick. See if we can get him to chase. The count on Mantle is 1-1. One and one. Sullivan winds and delivers. Swing and a miss dash strike two. So Mantle went fishing. Nice pitch by Sullivan. One ball, two strikes. Sullivan brings it. Mantle swings. Hit into the seats. Right side. Foul. So Mantle's been up there hacking. Let's try to give him the fish again. In comes the pitch. Mantle tries to hold up. And he held up. Oh! Sadowski's not happy with that. He thought they had strike three on Mickey Mantle. The count goes even. So instead of the first out of the inning, the count goes even. Mantle will have another opportunity. Sullivan into the windup. They get him on that one, though. Nice fires comeback two two for pitch. Sullivan. Swung on and missed four strike three. That's a K for the right-hander. Sullivan gets his third strikeout. So one away here in the top of the fifth. Roger Maris steps in the left-handed batter's box. Maris is 0 for 2. He's an extreme pull hitter. We will shift right. And we're going to try to get him the chase. Now Maris comes up. He's hitless in this one. New York bats with one down. From the windup. Sullivan delivers. Low dash ball one. Maris wouldn't go fishing. The right hander rocks. And fires. Ball two outside. Sullivan quickly falls behind in the count. Two balls, no strikes. Have to be very careful here with Roger Maris. Yankees already have a 7 2 lead, and he can make it 8 2 in a hurry. Sullivan into the windup. And here's the 2 to 0 pitch. Strike 1. Two balls, one strike to Maris. Ground ball to Runnels. Delivery. Oh out. my god, Maris, Maris beats it out. It. Here's a grounder. Oh, to the man. right side. Fielded by the second baseman Runnels. The throw to first. And he's safe. Maris is credited with an infield hit. So Sullivan got the ground ball. Ronald's going to get to the ball quick enough. Maris hustling down the line. Gets an infield hit. That's going to come back to haunt us. Once again, Maris, good hustle. As previously, he hustled down the line to keep an inning going uh, when they couldn't turn a double play. So runner at first. Bill Skarin steps into the batter's box, right-handed side. Maris at first. Yankees leading 7-2. We're going to visit the mound now for Sullivan and see how he's doing. He says he's got plenty left in the tank. We're going to put our infield and double play depth. Looking to get one for two here and get out of this inning. And here's the pitch. And the batter now, Bill Scourin. One on, one out. The stretch, the pitch. Fastball knee high on the outside corner dash strike one. 
Nice pitch by Sullivan. Actually, we're going to switch to shift left here. Skyron's an extreme pull hitter. So even if we shift left, our second baseman will be right near the bag. And our shortstop will just be farther over in the hole. Here's the pitch. Sullivan deals the 0 to 1 pitch. Inside with the curveball. Counts even. Maris at first. Skyron in the batter's box. Sullivan on the mound. The pitch. Swung on. And fouled off right at the plate. One ball, two strikes. One to two count on the hitter. And Sullivan gets him. Sullivan gets the sign. From the stretch. The pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. Sullivan gets him with a breaking ball. Great job by Frank Sullivan. That's his second strikeout of the inning. And fourth of the game. So we have two outs. We'd like to keep Maris stranded at first. Tony Kubek strides to the plate. Batting from the left-handed side. He's two for two today. Let's see if we can get him to chase. The next hitter is Kubek. He bats left-handed. He's a perfect two for two today. With one RBI. There's two out. The stretch. And the pitch. At the knees dash strike one. That was a generous call by the home plate umpire. That's true, computer guy, but the Yankees have also been getting a lot of generous calls. So, just evening it up. Sullivan would really like to get uh, Kubek as he does not want to face Yogi Bear and see if Yogi can hit a, a, another three-run homer. As he's already hit two three-run homers in this game, thus the Yankees leading 7-2 to over the Boston Red Sox. From the stretch, the 0-1. to one. Ball 1-low. One Count goes even. Here's the pitch. He misses with a fastball. Two balls, one strike to Tony Kubek. Roger Maris at first. He had an infield hit. Two to one count on Kubek. The stretch, the pitch. At the knees, dash strike two. Two two count. Sullivan one strike away from getting out of this inning. Ground ball to Runnels. He the flips it over to two Button. Two. And that's Sullivan out number hold. three. Now the pitch. Good comeback Swung inning. On. Two Grounded good comebacks hard. innings for Towards Frank second. Sullivan. Runnels go to the it. bottom of the fifth. Sends it over to second. And he's out. Tough call. That's three down. No runs. One hit. No errors. Nobody left on. Still 7-2 to two in favor of the Yankees. So we go to the bottom of the fifth here. Jim Busby, the center fielder, will be leading it off for the Red Sox. And then will be the catcher, Ed Sadowski. And batting third this inning is, will be Frank Sullivan, who will most likely be lifted for a pinch hitter. So let's get Worthington up in the pen. And let's get Worthington back up in the pen as we sat him down. He'll start his warm-up tosses all over again. So Busby's up. Whitey Ford has been, after the first inning, pretty dominant. So we need base runners. But we're going to have Busby swinging away. Jim Busby stands at the plate. The windup, the pitch. Strike one called dash a fastball. Ford once again jumps out in front of these Red Sox batters. The count is 0-1. Ford checks the sign. Winds up and delivers. Fastball for a strike, 0-2. Oh, 0-2 and oh, and for Ford. Ford into the windup. Deals the 0-2 pitch. Ball one in the dirt. Busby doesn't chase the worm burner. And this fifth inning is brought to you by Broke Black Man 94 Check out the link below and check out his channel. Movie reviews and TV reviews and much more. Here's the pitch. Ford climbs the mound. Looks in. Throws. Ball two. Two two count here. Busby looking for something that he can hit hard. Up the middle, and that's a base hit for Busby. Two to two on the way. Busby with a swing. Hard shot on the ground. Straight up the middle. And it gets into center field. Lead off runner on here as Ed Sadowski comes to the plate. 
He's 0 for 1 and 1 for 4 for the season, hitting 250. He will be taking. Sadowski is up. The Red Sox hope to string together a few hits. Runner on first, nobody out. The stretch, the pitch. Low with a fastball. That's right, computer, computer guy. The Red Sox need to string some hits, walks, anything. Get runners on. But most of all, need to start scoring runs. One ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. At the knees, dash strike one. 1 1 count. Foul one ball. ball and one strike. Ford gets the sign. Nods and stretches. Here's the pitch. Sadowski swings. Change up pulled foul. Ford ahead in the count. Busby at first. Sadowski at the plate. From the stretch. Oh, he hit him! One to two pitch. Sadowski gets hit and by Sadowski the pitch. Gets hit. As everyone Down moves to first, up, go. he goes the first. Over to second Busby goes, goes Busby. the second. We'll take it. Eesh. He tells the trainer he's fine, and the trainer goes back to the dugout. So, Whitey Ford in a little bit of trouble here in the bottom of the fifth. Frank Sullivan comes to the plate, and he will not hit for himself. We will be going with Carl Yastrzemski, the young Carl Yastrzemski who came up I brought him up a year earlier than in real life. And uh, in game one, he had a pinch hit single for his first hit of his major league career. Let's see if he can um, do it again. So Yastrzemski will be hitting for Frank Sullivan. As Al Worthington continues to warm up in the bullpen. So lefty lefty matchup here, but we have a lot of confidence in Yaz. Even as a young player, showed tremendous uh, skills. So he'll be taking the first substitution. Pitch. Here's Yastrzemski, batting 1.000 as a pinch hitter, one for one. Busby the lead runner at second. Sadowski the runner at first. Ford from the stretch. The pitch. The changeup is a strike. So Ford jumps out in front of the young Carl Yastrzemski, who's hitting, as Computer Guy said, 1,000 as a pinch hitter. No balls, one strike. Yastrzemski is going to... We're going to play a little hit and run. We're going to roll the dice here. The one strike Foul pitch. ball. Runners go. Yastrzemski with a swing. Pulled foul and out of play. As we put the runners in motion, hoping for Yastrzemski to find a hole... But he fouled the ball off. No balls, two strikes. Here we go. From the stretch. The 0 to 2. The swing. Ground ball, foul, up near third. Yastrzemski continues the battle for it. No balls, two strikes. Needs to put the ball someplace where the Yankee fielders aren't. Ball goes right back up the middle the in the center field. Yastrzemski swings. Mantle a hard retrieves shot the, on the ball. Ground. Past the pitcher. And, and we're going to have bases field. loaded. Taking third Busby. Sadowski takes second. So, Carl Yastrzemski comes through once again with another pinch hit single. He's two for two in his early career as he continues to bat 1,000 as a pinch hitter. Bases are jammed for Pete Reynolds, who's... Two for two today, three three for six on the season. He's hitting 500. We need a big hit by Pete here. He's not a power hitter, but let's find a gap. All right, no place for Whitey Ford to put Pete Reynolds. This this could be the big inning that the Red Sox need to get back in this game as they're down seven to two. We'll have Reynolds swinging away as we think Ford will come over with a strike. Pete Reynolds steps in. He has two hits in as many at-bats today. Bases loaded with no outs. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Ford from the stretch. Comes home with it. Low with the slider. So Ford was thinking the same way as we were, and Pete Reynolds was, as we were going to have, we had him swinging away, but Ford uh, tries to give him a chase. And Pete doesn't. 
So one ball, no strikes. Base is loaded. No place to put him. The pitch. Foul ball. Swung on. Line drive. To left. Out of play. Foul ball. Count goes even. Reynolds steps out of the batter's box for a moment. Steps back in. He awaits the pitch by Whitey Ford. Ford brings it. Big Another swing by Reynolds. Ball. Tap foul. Ford jumps ahead. One ball. Two strikes. Busby at third. Sadowski at second. Carl Yastrzemski at first. Reynolds at the plate. Ford on the mound. Here we go. Ford rocks and delivers. Ah, the swing. Hard foul ball. Line drive. Down the line toward left. Lopez tries to get there. It hooks toward the seats. Foul ball. That would have been nice if it rattled around in the corner, but it's foul. It's been a battle. The pitch. Runnels swings. Hit hard and foul right side. Once again, Reynolds in the batter box. Ford on the mound. No place to put him. One ball, two strikes. And the ball is ripped into right field. One Ford run scores. Runnels swings. Ground ball past Scourin. And Runnels has a base knock. Is Busby it... comes home with a run. Sadowski goes to third. Yastrzemski goes to second. The Red Sox score one on the Runnels single. The Red Sox inch closer. The score is 7-3. to three. So Runnels continues his hot hitting streak and drives in a run it's now the new york yankees seven the red sox three as frank malzone will come to the plate with the bases loaded he homered in the first inning and he's also banged into a double play as he's one for two with one homer and two rbis we don't need that double play we would like the homer the homer would tie the ball game up but most of all, a base hit would be just good. The homer would be better. So Ford is in a bit of trouble here. Base is loaded. No outs. Let's just check Al Worthington. He's ready. Let's sit him down. We don't want to um, tire him out. Malzone's waiting and ready. We're going to have... Malzone take. Next is Malzone. He's one for two. With one home run and two RBI. Bases loaded, no one out. Ford stares in for the sign. Kicks and deals. Outside with a fastball. So that pitch was outside and Malzone was taking. As you can see, he has a seven for an eye, which is below average. So... He's going to take again. The Ford pitch. And that's a ball dash, a change up. So Ford tries to throw a get me over change up, and it didn't go anywhere. Ball two to Malzone. He will continue to take. From the stretch. The 2 to 0. That pitch misses low and inside. Ball three. 3 and 0. Oh. Could we give Frank the green light? We're going to let him take. Ford has to come in with Ball the four and that walks in Ball a run. Four. Great Ford job by the Frank Mal walks in Mal a run. Malzone. Sadowski scores. He gets the walk. Yastrzemski takes third. Advancing to second, Runnels. New York still has the lead. 7-4. to four. So another run scores. Frank Malzone gets an RBI with the bases loaded walk as the Red Sox get ever closer. The Yankees 7, the Red Sox 4. Stepping to the plate, 0 for 2, Ted Williams. He hit a grand slam yesterday. It'd be nice to hit one now. You put the Red Sox ahead. So bases are loaded. Whitey Ford is struggling here in the bottom of the fifth. Ted will be taking. The batter up for Boston is Ted Williams. He's had two chances without a hit. Bases loaded for Boston here in the bottom of the fifth. Ford into the stretch. He kicks and fires. That's a ball dash low. So that's ball number five for Whitey Ford. Sullivan had trouble in innings two and three with his control. And now Whitey Ford in the bottom of the fifth is finding it very difficult at the moment to throw a strike. Williams will be taking. The count is 1-0. Oh. 
the stretch, the pitch. Low dash ball two. Two and zero. Oh. Ford seeming to feel the pressure right now. No outs. Base is loaded. Yankees leading seven to four. The first baseman Scourin has a brief word with Ford. Now we're set to go. The pitch. It's a ball. That fast ball missed away. 3-0 count. Williams up. Here's the 3-0 pitch. It's in there this time for a strike. 3-1. Williams in the driver's seat. Yastrzemski at third. Reynolds at second. Malzone at first. Williams in the batter's box. Ford on the mound. Yankees up 7-4. Looking for a big grip and rip by Teddy Ball game. The ball ball. Ball. Swung on. And lifted into the stands on the first base side. Full count. Runners will be in motion. Ford ready. Williams ready. The pitch. Ball is out to left. Lopez to comes in count. and makes the catch. Ford is set. And I believe that's... Here comes the pitch. They will hold the runner Swung at on. third, so Williams did not air. come through out there. short left field. And the ball Rushing was not deep Lopez. enough to score a and run. And he grabs it one away. So the runner retreats back to third. One away, Gary Geiger up. One for two today, three for seven on the season, hitting 429 with two RBIs. And we will have Geiger swinging away. Up to bat is Geiger. He's gone one for two. Tight spot for Ford. He could use a strikeout. From the stretch, Ford fires. Swing and a miss. So Geiger, on that big swing, was trying to put the Red Sox ahead, 8-7, to seven, but he missed the pitch. Bases loaded, one out, Gary Geiger at the plate, Ford on the mound, still in a jam. The count is 0-1. Ford on the rubber. He stretches and throws. Fastball taken for strike two. 0-2 oh, now for Ford, as he seemed to regain some of his composure. Geiger and the Red Sox don't really want this to slip away. As we will get um, Al Worthington back up in the bullpen. As he's just soft tossing down the bullpen as he's ready. Hopefully they'll have to wait much longer as the Red Sox need to score some more runs here. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. Foul Ford ball. leans in for the sign. The 0-2 pitch. Geiger swings. Lined. Down the line into short left. Foul ball. No balls. Two strikes. Bases full. Geiger at the plate. Ford on the mound. Ball is short. Flips it over to stretch. second. On the, the first. Two. Swung Double out. play. Ford gets out of the short, inning. Short. The Red Sox only get two. Fielded. They should Quick have gotten more. McDougald fires to first. That's a big double play double for Whitey Geiger. Ford. That's three down. The Red Sox push two runs across. The Red Sox creep closer at seven to four. So at the end of five, the Yankees lead seven to four. The Red Sox picked up two runs in the bottom of the fifth. Had bases loaded, no outs, but could not capitalize. We'll be back in a moment.